Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning and welcome to one more Workers' Prayer. I have a question to you. Would you uh, hang out with a friend who lies to you, who deceives you, who uh, gives you bad advices? Well, I think you wouldn't do that. But guess what? Inside of you, you have something that is as bad. Your heart. I mean feelings. Be careful with your heart. Be careful with feelings. Because as the Bible says in Jeremiah 17, they are deceitful. Only intelligent faith can indeed change your life. My name is Magdalene Malefani. As a child, I had anger inside of me because my mother passed away when I was 16 years. So this made me to have hatred, to have anger, and also to not to love people around me because now I thought no one could love me like my mother did. Because of this anger that I had inside of me growing up, I didn't care who does what. So I was disrespectful, dating different boys at the same time. And this anger also inside of me, it made me also to fight with those boys that I was dating at that time. I came to the spiritual treatment through my colleague. My colleague, she would tell me about her problems at home. Even though she had problems, she was happy. Then one day I asked her, where do you get this peace? Because I also have problems, but I am bitter. I'm angry inside of me. Then she invited me to come to the spiritual treatment. My process of change, I received counseling and I started to make my chains of prayers. God has blessed me not only spiritually. He has done a lot for me financially. I'm blessed because I started working at the temporal, at the temporal post. I found a permanent post. I was promoted as an HOD. After the promotion of HOD, I was promoted to be the deputy principal. I married. I have my own family, and I also bought myself a car. So God did not only change, bless my spiritual life, he also blessed my financial life. I would like to thank God for giving me peace, joy, and happiness that I never had before. Just like Magdalene, everybody who attends the spiritual treatment have their lives changed. Why? because they learn how to use their faith to reject bad thoughts. If you want your life to change, take this one very important, this one very important step in your life. Reject bad thoughts. Have a glass of water and let us talk to God right now. My Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we, we bless this glass of water right now. We ask you, my Father, that you touch their lives, touch those who are praying with us, those who need strength to reject bad thoughts. They've tried, but they failed. Right now, they are overwhelmed by fear, by sadness, by doubts. But let it be. The moment they drink this glass of water, they will have a strength to change their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe God heard your prayers, but now you have to do your part. You have to reject bad thoughts. Don't be afraid. When bad thoughts come, uh, Fight that with a good thought. The thought comes, you're going to lose. And then you say, well, if I lose, I'm going to win something bigger. That's what we do in the spiritual treatment. We orientate people how to fight against bad thoughts. God bless all of you. Tomorrow, 5 to 6 in the morning, we are back here on E to bless your life. Bye-bye. Workers' Prayer.